Hello and welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series. I'm Lori Mage and this is day 76 in the series and I am so excited about today's topic. One of the things that I've been having fun with the last few weeks is challenging myself to feel good all of the time which surprisingly feels a little bold and brave, like feeling good all the time is a radical thing to shoot for. First things first, why do I wanna feel good all the time? It might be obvious, but I think it's worth stating because it feels good. And when I feel good, I'm a way better spouse, I'm a way better coach, I'm a way better problem solver, I handle change and challenges with more ease and more grace. All in all, when I feel good, I'm a way better human being, which makes sense, right? And yet somewhere along the lines, I came up with this belief that I shouldn't feel good all the time, as if there was some sort of a limit on joy, or maybe I didn't deserve it. Or even worse, if I shine too bright, I might not be lovable. I literally remember my parents saying, calm down, Lori, don't get too excited about this. As a kid, it meant be careful about feeling good about life and about opportunity because it might not happen. And that's gonna really hurt if you get too excited. And to be fair, I totally get why my parents would say that. They loved me and they didn't wanna see me get hurt. And on some level, that makes sense. And at the same time, it planted this belief in my consciousness that being too excited or too happy was wrong or dangerous. I've even been in relationships where I felt like I needed to play small or not shine so bright because I was worried that I would somehow hurt the other person. I mean, they weren't in a great spot. And so if I shine too bright, it might hurt them. And then they wouldn't want to be my friend or they wouldn't want to be my lover anymore. But that's not today's topic. Today, we're talking about the fastest and easiest way to break free from negativity. No matter how we look at it, negativity never helps us navigate change. We all know that. Negativity never helps us maintain a great relationship with ourselves or with others. And the last time I checked, negativity is not something we usually aim for with our dreams and goals. Negativity never helps and it's never a goal. And yet, experiencing negative emotions and succumbing to negative states or negative moods for days, weeks, or even years at time, like I have, is human. It's normal. It happens. Which is why it can be super frustrating to experience the negative emotions and states when we know having a positive outlook on the situation we're in and the people around us is going to help us be more successful and enjoy the process. But when we feel like crap, it's hard. So what do we do when we're in the middle of a poop storm of negativity? What's the fastest? way to change from a negative state to a resourceful positive state. Most people tell you just think positive. Look at the bright side here. But when we feel lousy and we feel like crap, how helpful is that advice? It's more infuriating than helpful. Although shifting our focus and telling ourselves a more empowering story about the situation we're in can help, there is a faster, more effective, more enjoyable way to change from a negative state to a positive state so we can handle change and challenge with more confidence, more ease, and more grace. It's through our body. Let me explain. We are multidimensional beings. Our states, our moods are generated through a loop of feelings, thoughts, and actions. The way we think about things creates feelings and our feelings determine whether or not we're gonna take action. For example, let's say you wanted to get up and go for a run outside this morning. And when you got up and looked outside, you saw that it was snowing. And when you saw the snow, you thought to yourself, today's run's gonna suck. It's gonna be so cold. I might even get hurt. I could do a double run this weekend. Now those thoughts create feelings, maybe feelings of dread or fear or pain, which influence our actions. And with those kinds of thoughts, which lead to those kinds of feelings, What's the likely action here? More often than not, our action in that case is to crawl back into bed, right? But here's what's cool about this loop of thoughts, feelings, and actions. You can interject yourself into the loop at any point and influence the entire thing. And the fastest, most effective way to do that is through your body. It's through your actions. Our thoughts and feelings are directly related to our bodies, our body posture, our facial expressions, and our movement. When we're sitting hunched over, head down, shoulders kind of caved in and a bit small, our brains interpret that posture as a negative posture and start to shut down feel-good hormones and produce more feel-scared and stressed out chemicals in our bodies like cortisol. Whereas holding a strong body posture, standing tall or sitting tall with your shoulders slightly back, your chin up, 
our brain interprets that as feel-good postures and starts to produce more feel-good chemicals and endorphins into our bodies, which helps us create a positive state. Take that running scenario, for example. If when you got up this morning and saw the snow, rather than crawling back into bed, you went on that run, when you get back from that snowy run, how's your state? How's your mood? Are you feeling positive and powerful after that run? Or are you filled with doubt and fear about yourself and life? Of course, we feel great after that kind of workout. No one ever regrets a workout, especially when it's a hard one. We're proud of ourselves. We feel confident. We feel capable. Now, this doesn't mean we won't or can't think of something negative before, after, or during the run. But when our body posture doesn't match our thoughts, our brains give more credibility to the signals that are coming directly from our body which is in motion, which is standing upright and running. Now, if running's not your thing, just bring to mind any situation that you've been in that your head said go, but your body said no. And nine times out of 10, your body was right. Trusting our gut is real and our brains know that. And therefore our brains are more likely to take heed from the information that's coming from our bodies, the information that's being sent through our posture, through our facial expressions, and through our movements more than from our thoughts. Thinking positive can help, but the fastest, most surest way to break free from a negative state is through our body posture. It's standing tall, it's sitting tall, shoulders slightly back, chin up. It's our facial expressions, just smiling, even if you don't feel like it can help. Just walking outside for 10 minutes has been shown to have a remarkable impact on our feelings and our thoughts. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been having fun with six different activities to help me optimize my state for greater performance, for deeper love, for greater impact. And the first one is micro moment dance parties with music that puts me into a positive state. And the second one is running around like a monkey making kind of silly sounds and funny faces. That always gets me out of my funk and giggling. The third thing I've been doing is that when my timer goes off is to stand up and put my arms in kind of this victory pose like I just won an Olympic gold. The fourth one is just getting outside for a brisk walk, always kind of having a brisk tempo to it. The fifth one is jumping on our new rebounder, which currently is in the basement. I can't wait to put it outside this summer. I'm so excited to play with it out there rather than in the dark basement. And when I'm on the rebounder, I'm either got music playing or I'm repeating some sort of positive mantra in my mind to help me boost that state even more. And the sixth activity that I've been playing around with is in between my writing and coaching sessions, doing a blast of sit-ups or push-ups, going as fast as I can, as hard as I can, for as long as I can, until I can't do another one, all the while smiling. And I have to admit, I don't always look super cool doing these things. But at this point in my life, I'd rather feel good now, be a better partner, be a better spouse, be a better coach, be a better creator, and be a better human being than worry about being cool or looking silly. Well, there you go. Any way you look at it, being in a negative state doesn't help us navigate change or accomplish our dreams and goals. And also, common humanity, we're human, we're going to experience negative states and moods, it happens. And when they do, shifting our focus, thinking positively, telling ourselves an empowering story, those things can all help us shift our state from a negative to a positive one. But it's not the fastest way to break free from negativity. Optimizing our body postures, our facial expressions, and moving throughout the day, that is the fastest way. And that's it for day 76. If you got value today, give me a thumbs up. And if it's not too much to ask, if you could do me a favor, if you know somebody who would benefit from this particular video or this series, please share it with them. I'm on a mission to help build a happier, healthier, more loving world, one person at a time. And in the right hands, it's my hope that these videos will help that mission in some small way, shape, or form. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for sharing. And thanks for doing the hard work of being and becoming your best self. When you shine brighter, the world shines brighter. Have an awesome night. I'll see you tomorrow.